just tell you a really quick story about a client that I'm working with now. He recorded a video three years ago in his backyard for Facebook and he had paid somebody a shitload of money to do this, this video. And it's just him in the backyard and, he's, and it's really great content. And he said, yeah, you know, we promoted it for five months on Facebook, went nowhere, it was, you know, 60 seconds. So what we did, it's like, well, send that video over to me. I watched that video three times, so this is my formula. So I, he's recorded the video, I watched the video three times, then I started taking notes on the video and writing a short 300 word synopsis of the video, right? So I've kind of absorbed what the content is, I've written something about it, and then what I did was I went to LinkedIn, I uploaded the video directly to LinkedIn, I didn't put it on YouTube, I uploaded it directly to the native channel on LinkedIn, put that little, uh, that little 300 word synopsis that I'd created, and then below that I put a strong call to action. And his call to action was, you know, if this, if this sounds like it applies to you, and his, his, his target market is CEOs in, in sales organizations. If this sounds like your organization, you know, you can visit my website, you can send me an email, these are all clickable links, or you can just give me a phone, you can just call me. And I, I've noticed, and this is, this, is, this is a shock to me, everybody in here wants to work. How many speakers don't want to give their phone number out? Yeah, it's like they make you jump through hoops. You can't even send them a direct email. You go to their, their, their website, and you have to fill out this big long form to get in touch with them as opposed to just, you know, I want somebody to hire me. I'm not going to make it tough for them to hire me. It's like, call me. I'll answer the phone. I'm not expecting 10,000 calls when I put an article on LinkedIn. So don't be afraid to use your content as a way to kind of introduce people to a strong call to action. That video, by the way, if he had posted that on YouTube, he would probably have got eight or ten views on that, on that piece of content over the course of a week. Right? He's not a superstar. He, you know, he didn't get a ball to the nuts. He, there's nothing really spectacular, spectacularly viral about it. It's a business video, and over the course of four days, he had 1,200 people watch that video on LinkedIn. Like that's a that's a lot of people that watched his video. And LinkedIn, and, and Rada, you can talk to this probably better than I can. The statistics it gives you when you post a video, it'll tell you like exactly the companies that people were at when they watched it. I have another client who's just do, we're doing the same thing where she's writing a blog a week and what we're doing, we're, we're actually blogifying her book. She wrote a book, so now we're blogifying the book. I send her the blog. She, she creates a video around that blog that's from her book. Again, short video, 30 to 60 seconds, on her iPhone, not overproduced, because if you overproduce your video on LinkedIn, it looks like an ad and people just skip by it. So make it look like there's content there and not just a sell job. And what she's doing is she's getting not as many, she's not getting 1,200, but she's getting, she had 600, last, 600 people last week watch her video. And again, it's a strong call to action. Come to my website. Call me. Send me an email. You know, this is weaponizing your content. You've got genius. Don't just hide it.